All right, Kate Lance, one of the winners. Uh, too bad Sarah Morales, uh, who is also a winner, uh, refused to do an interview. But, Kate, tell me a little bit about uh, today for you in the high jump and, and getting the victory. How'd you feel? Yeah, it was definitely exciting. Um, I had to run the sprint med beforehand, so I had to run that before I jumped. And I honestly think that kind of helped, kind of getting my legs warmed up. And I jumped five foot. I tried five one, and I think my legs were a little bit tired. So maybe going to the next one, I might start up a little bit. The first meet of the year outdoors is pretty uh, horrific in terms of weather. I mean, it, you never know what to expect in track season. But how do you how do you deal with it? How do you take uh, you know keep it out of your mind? I know definitely practicing and just like enduring it. I mean, it's going to happen. You just kind of have to work with it. All right, high jump, you got a win in the books here. What, what are your thoughts this year on what, what you want to get accomplished? Uh, definitely go higher in high jump. Um, I know my sprinting's pretty well. I just want to get a little bit faster, and especially with hurdles, kind of getting my three-stepping down. Well, congrats on the win today. Thank you. Camilla Kent, a big senior night for her. A win in the long jump, the 100, and then you were also uh, part of the D-Med. And this was like right in a row, too. So uh, tell me about that little, uh, uh, I guess, segment of the meet where you were pretty active. Uh, I was really, I was actually really, really, really nervous for this meet because we haven't seen a lot of these teams for a while. And I was really scared because I was going to have a busy first few events. And I was pretty tired after my 100, and I went straight into D-Med. As soon as I finished across that line, they were like, all right, now you got to warm up for D-Med. So I was just really nervous, really scared. I was not going to be very good. I know you've been not only uh, active today, but uh, you know had some indoor meets and uh, getting after it here early in the season. How are you feeling about, I mean, it's April 5th, but uh, how are you feeling about your start? Oh, uh, oh, amazing. I, it does, I, no, I don't have a doubt in my mind that we're going to take so many more girls to state this year. We have an amazing team this year. Some of our freshmen are really stepping up. Jersey Knight, oh my gosh, she is so fast. It's not even funny. Um, having her in relays is going to be big. Our distance medley, I think, is, I think we have a pretty good shot at state because Mason Hartley, amazing distance runner. Taylor Cole, amazing sprinter. She's improved so much over the past year. Um, our distance med, I have really high hopes for. Uh, four by one, I'm hoping we're going to get that in at some point during the uh, season. But... I think a big goal is just taking so many more girls to state, and there's not a doubt in my mind that we're going to do that. Yeah, so if you had to map it out for yourself, what would be those uh, four events that you would go in? Um, I'm guessing 100% long jump. That's yeah. that's my thing. Um, I'm hoping 100, but I'm hoping also because our 4x4, four four, that's also actually really good this year. Um, if I'm in three relays and long jump, that'll be pretty good meet for me. Um, if we don't take three relays, I want to do that 100 again because got to avenge that right. state last year. Long jump today was a pretty good jump for you. I, I mean, and it's not an ideal day to jump. How would you, you feel about it? Uh, I was pretty nervous. My first jump was a 16-1. I think that they messed it up while announcing, but not really worried about that. But, uh, yeah, my first jump was a 16-1. I think I got a little anxious. And then my other jumps weren't as far, but that 16-1 really got me good. Yeah. Paige, congrats on a great day. Good luck in the 4x4. Perfect. Thank you. Lauren Williams, a uh, couple of, well, three wins here so far today and two individually. Um, just finished the 400 hurdles. I know you love that race, though, right? Uh, tell me, how would you feel today? Um, I felt pretty good. Like at the last, like, 300 meters, I felt pretty strong. <laughs> kind of got a little frozen at the very end, but it was pretty good. How about your 100 hurdles today? That felt really strong. I felt like I was pretty good at that, so, yeah. I know, as I mentioned, you love that 400 hurdles. I don't know that you actually do, but you're very good at it. You've uh, you know, got a couple state medals already, right, in in two tries. Uh, tell me about that race and, and what you're aiming for this year. Um, aiming for probably lower time than a 108 because I've stuck with that pretty much the year, two years past. So I want to beat that really badly, and I just really want to just keep pushing and yeah you're also doing a couple of relays today how, how do you feel about uh the potential for you know the relays that you'll be in this year i think it'll be pretty good um we have pretty strong legs in our team so yeah team is doing great too i know you're leading the 1a race by quite a bit lots of different girls you know running a lot of different events tell me about uh, the dynamic of this year's team um I think just pushing your practices a lot of the time really helps. I mean, I know our two coaches really push us too a lot. So, yeah, I think that really helps. Congrats on a great start. Thank you.